Meine Damen und Herren, eine echte lebende Legende, Hugh Masekela hier in der Kulturport Lounge. You understood everything I said, of course. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I'm so happy to have you here. Thank It's, you. I'm very happy to be here. You know, when you played Languta, the first song, I told the people that Languta is a loincloth. Is that true? You no. told a completely different story. I was like, well, ah. There's a difference between what you tell the people and the truth. You know. That's what I mean. But I'm not a politician, so I could tell the truth. So I want to know the truth. What is Languta? It doesn't matter anymore because the people believe both of us. <laughs> It's only when they have to vote for us that they'll decide whether they want my story or the loincloth. <laughs> But I think Stimula really means Coltrane, doesn't it? Yeah, no, it, <laughs> <laughs> it actually means steam engine. Steam engine. Yeah, steam engine. Yeah, or, the, or the train uh, um, that's been pulled by the steam engine. There's, you mentioned Miriam Makeba, and I have to... Something you that I found... under the table? I have, she's <laughs> right here. No, but okay. do you remember <laughs> this? Of course. <laughs> Now, okay. I found this when I was with Tina in New York, from Tina from Elbjes. We were in New York, okay. and there was a guy on the street selling records. Well, and I've funny, been looking for this for so long. What's funny is that the man who owns the rights to it now, Eric Abrams, okay. sought me out. And we have a theater company in South Africa with James Nobo and Goliswa. Uh, uh, and they both run like the Johannesburg theaters now. But when we started this company, we had one small play that we did. But anyway, yeah, James Moore was our standing um, 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 uh, uh, director, actor, singer, composer. You know? And uh, this guy sought him out because he's a, just an amazing theater director. And he said, I'm looking for Masekela. If you can find me, Masekela, you and him uh, should do this uh, sh show again, King Kong. Wow. And um, 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 he, he, he built the Arthur Fugard Theatre in Cape Town. And he owns a few theatre on the West. His name is Eric Abrams. So he wants us to do this. So we might be doing it, wow. uh, a revival next year. <laughs> Amazing. What else you got under the table? <laughs> <laughs> See? <laughs> okay. <laughs> That's what Abram Lincoln really looked like. <laughs> so we have to show the people that this is actually <laughs> Abraham Lincoln. <laughs> you know, this, we did this as a live, as a live album in 1967. No, not a live album. We're not live in the studio. This is yeah, Damn. with Big Black and ah. yeah. Chuck and I'm looking at the picture. I've been trying to get like this again. I've given up. <laughs> It's a good thing you can still dance like that. <laughs> I dance better now than, 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 than the, I was too light then to dance like this. <laughs> I would have fallen over. But this, this, when we, when we, this, this was from our own record company. Yeah. She said when, you know, in 1967. Stuart Levine. So the distributors send it back. They said like the cover is like, first of all, disrespectful to the USA. <laughs> yeah, they said to the United States of America mm. and uh, to the memory of their first president. You ah. know, I said, but he came up with emancipation. <laughs> they said, well, it's a way to change it. And uh, we said, okay, well, what kind of cover would you suggest? So they, they had a cover of um, um, a European girl wo uh, running through the fields in a mini skirt, in a mini dress. And I said, come on, let's bring back Lincoln. And, uh, <laughs> after a year, they brought it back. But uh, it's, it's a collector's <laughs> item now. There's something... I mean, I'm laughing now, but it's, it's really ridiculous how, at the time how it was, racist uh, At the time, it was, like, was we couldn't believe time. it. Because we were like, are you kidding? If Lincoln was around, he'd love this. You know? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> so what else you got? So like you're with the magician. <laughs> Don't pull out a rabbit. Don't pull out, <laughs> <laughs> Don't pull out a rabbit. <laughs> uh, that was the live record at the village game. Yeah, at the village game. Let me tell you a funny thing because there's a guy called Tom Wilson who was the producer. Yeah, yeah. And there's Tom Wilson produced like Bob Dylan and Simon and Garfunkel, Frank Zappa, because he was Afri African American. Yeah. 
And he came to listen to us, because I tried a couple of albums before. And he came and he was very tall, like, and all his smiling was like, yeah, man, ah, he was like that. <laughs> He said, you know what, man, we're going to record right here in the village gate because I've been coming here and God damn, man. So we recorded. And then uh, he said, what are we going to call the album? At the time, there was a movie called The Americanization of Emily. Uh, with, oh, okay. um, uh, uh, with, uh, I could have danced all night. What was it? Julie Andrews. Julie Andrews. Yeah, it was a big movie. So I said, let's call it The Americanization. And I said to him, you know, in the Tarzan movies, you know, the, 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 the Africans in those movies, in the Hollywood movies, when they had Africans, they, they had their own African language. Uga booga, umgawa. Hey. So, <laughs> so I said, let's call it the Americanization of Uga booga. And he loved it. He said, yeah, man, let's do that. And then he conceived this conversation. We're going to have you in like a money suit and like with a... a, 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 a a great Bozalina head and a briefcase in the Wall Street Journal. It looks like you're barefooted, gonna... man. Barefooted, <laughs> isn't that a... <laughs> so, It looks like you're going to be falling into this hole in a, in a minute. <laughs> it's a little fish pond. Oh, okay. So, so uh, um, um, it became very famous this yeah. record. But everywhere I went, you know, the women used to come to me and be disappointed when, shit, you're wearing shoes now, man. <laughs> You become so Americanized, you're wearing shoes. <laughs> Which is something you, you said at, on stage, you said like, you know, that's where the trouble started is when we started wearing clothes. <laughs> and you, you, so, <laughs> so they were disappointed in me and with the pretty girls, you know, they said, oh man, I thought I was going to meet an African, but real African, you're wearing shoes. <laughs> I tried to explain, no, it was just the cover we're playing. No, man, didn't you just come that day from... <laughs> Those were the 60s. Everyone's yeah. glorifying them now, and yeah. It was a great, this was a good album. This opened up the world for us. Absolutely, yeah. And I mean, that's one Anyway, of the, this is your show, and I'm talking so much, right? Come on. It's, yeah. <laughs> that's what I want to hear. <laughs> because that's what, what's, to me, is interesting. That's yeah. these songs, you know, these records that were recorded such a long time ago, they still hold up. I look at this. You can still play it. I look at these records and I know that you're a funny guy. You gotta be out of your mind to have records like this. I'm even crazier than that. <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> this, to, this to me, this yeah. I'm framing up on my wall. If, if ever I get scared, this, this is what I think. <laughs> I had a friend who was our publicist. His name is Gary Stromberg. He's still alive now. And these were the, the 70s were the days of like the beginning of disco and we, don't, we didn't sleep, you know. Right. <laughs> and he always said, he was a publicist, he always said this idea. He says, so we had this record, I brought this group from Ghana. We'd done another album before called Hedgele uh, Sound. Hedgele Sound, with Languta. That's okay, the, yeah, yeah, with Languta, right. So he says, he says, I got a cover for you, man. I got three options for you and I'm going to bet you a thousand dollars. The first one is you have to like wrestle with a grizzly bear. That should be the covers. Wow. <laughs> he said the second cover, uh, you put your head in the lion's mouth. Beautiful. I said, uh, and he said the third one is uh, that um, you sit under, you lie down under an elephant and it puts on f his foot on you. I said, you know what, I'll go for the elephant. <laughs> And so he named the, the, the album, I'm Not Afraid. I said, I'll go for the elephant, man. Because I know the elephant, I've seen elephants in the circus. <laughs> They're well trained, you know. But can you trust the, like your lions. head? Can mm. you try to trust your head in a lion's mouth? I said, uh, 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 wrestle with a grizzly bear. You know, the bear might forget that we just play. <laughs> <laughs> Well, figuratively, you often put your head in a lion's mouth, didn't you? Well, my With whole the... life has been that, has been the, the, in the lion's mouth. It was so beautiful to see the audience, how they reacted to your music tonight, I have to say. I mean, you, you mentioned that too, and I know that you're a great entertainer and a great showman, and they you know how to like, motivate they people. They all but... looked like they were trained by you, because when I met you, you were like that. <laughs> We were like this, and then I went to the went to the audience. They were all like, "I said, he brought his own people." I think. 
Uh, absolutely. It was a great vibe. They were all yeah. our people. It was a wonderful vibe. Wonderful Wh vibe. Where are you going from here? Where are you? We're going to, f to Helsinki tomorrow. Wow. We're playing the day after tomorrow, right? Yeah, Helsinki. And we're playing there on a Sunday afternoon. Thank you so much for You're being welcome, here. Man. It was just such a pleasure. It was a just pleasure <laughs> uh, um, interviewing you today. <laughs> <laughs> Take care. <laughs>